Hey guys, if you're trying to play Apex Legends and the game keeps crashing or freezing, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to share with you some quick and easy solutions. Unfortunately, there is not one solution that works for everybody, so you would need to go through each of these steps to find the one that works for you. So, the very first thing we're going to do is head over to our Steam application, then right-click on Apex Legends and come into Manage, and select Browse Local Files. Inside of here, we need to find the R5 Apex application, on right click and come into properties. Inside of the compatibility tab, you need to select disable full screen optimizations and also run this program as administrator. And then we can hit apply and OK to save those changes. Then come into the R5 Apex underscore DX12 application. And we're going to do the same thing by coming into properties. Inside of compatibility, and you need to disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator and select apply and OK. Then head back over to your Steam application and right click again on Apex Legends. This time come into properties and come over to the installed files tab and we're going to click this button here where it says verify integrity of game files and this is going to make sure that none of our files are missing or damaged. This may take a couple of minutes to complete, just wait for this to get to 100%. And the next method we're going to do is check our firewall settings by coming to the start menu and searching for Windows Defender. Tap on Windows Defender Firewall and come over to allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now in order to make changes to this list we need to select change settings. Then scroll down this list and what we're looking for is Apex Legends. As you can see I already have Apex Legends added to this list and you just need to make sure both private and public are checked. If you don't have Apex Legends in your firewall, Say for example if I just remove this for a second, then what you'll need to do is come over to allow another app, select browse, and then you'll need to select the Apex Legends app from your folders, which can be found in the C drive underneath program files x86, inside of the Steam folder, underneath Steam apps, inside of common, Apex Legends, and then we can just select the R5 Apex application. Then press add, and once you see it in the list, just make sure private and public are checked and then we can press OK to head out of here. Another thing that we need to check is our graphic card drivers to ensure they're fully up to date. And to do this, you can head to the Start menu and search for Device Manager. Then tap on the Device Manager tab, and in this list here, look for Display Adapters and expand the tab, and you need to locate your graphic card driver. I have two graphic card drivers installed into my computer, so I'll need to do this for both. And right-click on your graphic card driver and select Update Driver and then we can search automatically for drivers. As you can see, I'm already running the latest graphic card driver, but to go one step further and to really ensure we're running the latest driver on our computer, you can actually head to your graphic card's official website. So I've got a NVIDIA graphics card, so I can head over to the NVIDIA website, and you can check their website for the latest drivers. We can then close out of these windows, and the next thing we're going to do is delete our cache files, and you can do this by coming over to File Explorer, inside of the C drive, underneath Program Files x86, inside of Steam, unlocate the app cache folder at the top here, and we can delete everything inside of this folder by selecting All, and then right-clicking and selecting the trash icon. Now, you can check to see if that's fixed the issue, but if it's still not working, the next thing we can do is head back into the Steam application, and we're going to right-click on Apex Legends and come into Properties. Inside of the General tab, you should see an option at the bottom here for Launch Options, and inside of here, we're going to type in the plus sign FPS underscore max space 60. And then we can close out this window and we're now going to launch Apex Legends. Once you're inside of Apex Legends, we need to come over to the Settings tab by pressing Escape P on your keyboard. Tap on Settings, and there's a couple of settings we need to change in here to prevent our game from crashing. First, come over to Display Mode, and you need to make sure this is set to full screen. We can then come down to the Advanced tab, and make sure V-Sync is disabled. Then scroll all the way down to the Graphics section, and I'd recommend lowering some of these settings here. We can set Model Detail to Medium, Map Detail I'd keep it high, Effects Detail you can keep it low, and you can also turn off Ambient Occlusion Quality. And I'd recommend just playing around with the graphic settings in here. And generally speaking, the lower you change these settings to, the less likely it will be for your game to crash. And that's it guys, hopefully by following all of these steps, that's now fixed any issues you're having with Apex Legends crashing. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.